I have a question for you. Has it ever bothered you that in Blender there is a regular camera and an orthographic camera, but no reverse perspective camera? Thanks to the new Ray Portal node in Blender 4.2, we can now create one. And in this video, I will show you how. You cannot use the Ray Portal directly with the camera. To make it work, you'll need to add a standard plane, which we will position directly in front of the isometric camera. Let's begin by resetting the camera's rotation and positioning it so that it looks at the default cube directly from the side. Place a plane directly in front of the camera, which will block the view, and parent it to the camera. This plane will redirect the camera's rays. Let's make it visible only in cycles and only in camera. Switch the camera to orthographic mode and check that the plane is not being culled by the clipping zone. If it is, reduce the clipping star distance. Use the orthographic scale value as the basis for a new driver, which you'll add to the plane scale. Note that since the standard plane has a size of two units, you will need to reduce it by half. You can either decrease the size of the plane itself in edit mode or edit the driver settings. Now, apply a material to the plane and replace the standard shader with the ray portal. Preparations are complete. If you have followed all the steps correctly in cycles render mode, you should be able to see the cube through the plane. Additionally, when you change the orthographic scale, the plane will scale along with the camera's boundaries. By default, the plane doesn't change the trajectory of the ray. In other words, it behaves like a transparent object. Our goal is to make the rays converge at a single point when exiting the portal. To do this, we will take the UV coordinates, subtract 0.5 to center the coordinates, and then add a small value to the Z value. Still clipping his cycles, let's move plane a bit more. As you can see, our virtual camera is directed towards the floor. The issue is that the camera, without any transformations, is oriented downward, and our camera has a 90 degree X rotation. Let's add a vector rotate node with this rotation. Now the camera is positioned as required, and changing the Z component alters the camera's angle of view. However, if you rotate the cube, you'll notice that it functions as a standard perspective camera. In other words, we have something like this. To achieve the desired result, we need to invert the X and Y coordinates while keeping the Z coordinate unchanged. For example, like this. As you can see, it works. However, we would like to add two features. First, the ability to rotate the camera, and second, we want to precisely position the point where the rays converge. To rotate the camera, I didn't find a better solution than using drivers. Let's take a combine XYZ node and use drivers to control the camera's rotation. Fortunately, the copy is new driver function works as intended. Now, let's address the focus point setting. I created an empty object, parented it to the camera, positioned it in front of the camera. Using a driver, let's calculate the distance from the camera to the empty object. First, add a value node, then create a new driver 
and set it to distance mode. Since the value is required to be inverted, we should multiply the variable by minus one, or we can achieve this through nodes. The focal length is also influenced by the scale of the plane. Let's use the orthographic scale as a new driver and add it into the node setup. The focal length should be divided by the size of the plane. The larger the plane, the more we need to bend the rays. If you've done everything correctly, objects in front of the focus point will appear in reverse perspective. As you approach the focus point, these objects will increase in size until they become infinitely large at the focus point. Then, as you move away from the focus point, they will appear in normal perspective, but upside down. I'm not sure how you might use this, but at the very least, it is educational. For example, this is what my cat looks like in reverse perspective.